there's a couple things that I want to talk about that showed up on your homework last night that some of you did really good at and some of you did the opposite of. Okay? So let's talk about these real quick. Okay? Absolute value of x plus 2 is less than or equal to negative 4. Now, the problem on your homework was not this exact problem. I just want to be able to talk in general. Okay? Absolute value of x plus 2 is less than or equal to negative 4. Tell me what happens when we take an absolute value. What kind of number do we get? Always? Yes, right? We always get a positive or a zero, but we're not, taking, we're not talking about that right now, right? This number right here is always going to be a positive number. You agree with that? Tell me when a positive number will be less than or equal to negative 4. Never. A positive number will never be less than or equal to negative 4. So how am I going to write my answer on this? No solution. Okay, that's a no solution problem. I also want you to notice how much work I showed. Did I write the positive and negative and solve both sides and then plug the answer in and then graph it? No. I, I said no solution. I do have to graph it though. Okay, done. <laughs> There's no values on the number line that work, right? Does it make sense that, it, that my graph would look like that? Hopefully yes, okay? So then, you also had, I think that was like problem number nine or something like that, right? That was similar to that? Mm -hmm. You also had a problem that looks like this. Tell me once again what happens when I take the absolute value of something. I get a positive. Positive number, right? Please tell me when will a positive number be greater than or equal to negative 7? Or more generally, when will a positive number be greater than a negative number? Always. That means, what am I allowed to put in for x? Anything. Yeah, anything. Okay, so what do you think I write for the answer here? All real numbers, we can do this. I don't know if you guys know about this one. We can go all real numbers. Yeah, we can write out the words, that's also okay. Okay, how do we graph this one? Let's put in a zero, just so we know. What what are the answers again? All real numbers, so all of them, done. Somebody earlier did this. They don't like to mess up their number line like this, so they did this. I said, cool. <laughs> Also a good idea, okay? Somehow you need to visually represent that all numbers are solutions. You okay with that? Okay, do you have any questions about that? Guys, those are kind of the two um, special situations that we have in absolute value inequalities. What's true about both of these situations? Negative numbers over here. Once the absolute value is isolated, this number over here is negative. If a negative number shows up over here, you're probably going to have a special situation. Is that really true for equations as well? It is, isn't it? If this was an equal sign, what positive number would ever equal a negative 7? None. So that would be like no solution, wouldn't it? Okay? So anytime you have your absolute value isolated and then you look at the other side of the, of the equal sign or the inequality and this number over here is negative, your like sensors need to raise up off your head, right? Those little alien sensors you all have. <laughs> you can be like, oh, something's wrong, something's wrong, <laughs> something's weird. But please, please, please don't just write no solution, okay? Don't just write no solution because it might be all real numbers and not no solution. Depends on which 
direction the sign goes, doesn't it? Okay, you just need to think your way through it. Are there any questions about that?